clairvoyant I am because I am clairvoyant. I hope everybody's having a great evening. I'm just going to light my incense so I can clear my energy space so I can get this message to you guys today. But anyway, I was in my prayer room this morning, you guys, and I was getting all my downloads, and I was calling in my angels and my spirit guides and Archangel Michael, and that's what I do. I'm an energy reader, and I'm an energy healer, and the Lord gave me a beautiful verse. It's Psalm 145, 8. God is all mercy and grace, not quick to anger, is rich in love. Yes, indeed. Yes, he is. But we, anyway, like I said, I was in there just channeling and getting all my downloads. And what's going on in the cosmos right now? Well, um, the new moon is March the 2nd. So I know that we're not there yet, but the new moon is going to be in Pisces energy during this new moon season coming in March. So this energy brings clarity and calmness and creativity and expansion. Just very warm energies, very inviting. But also during this new moon of this new phase, uh, in the new season of spring with Pisces, um, it can also lead certain individuals to do some types of magic. And the one that they usually do during these seasons is called hoodoo. So what exactly is hoodoo? Well, it's an African-American folk magic practiced predominantly in the southeastern United States. Hoodoo mainly uh, focuses on rituals of protection and herbal medicines. You know, you used to go to the magic man and for healing. And um, it also practices in charms and oils and potions and powders. Okay? So... Because that's what they did. The medicine man, you would go there for healing and for protection. And they would use certain herbs and certain medicines. And then perform like ritual magic with hoodoo. But it still goes on to this day. So, I'm going to give you the top 10 symptoms of a hoodoo spell. And if you have one or three or four or more of these symptoms somebody possibly could be doing hoodoo on you and yes i said at least just one of these symptoms okay because this is um practiced a lot especially here in the u.s and uh, especially down in new orleans they do a lot of hoodoo magic so i'm going to give you the top 10. number one is unexplained fear or panic attacks or just mental suffering all around. Um, it can also lead to body tremors. So become aware of that. Number two is severe headaches along down the neck and it'll go all the way down and radiate through the shoulders and all the way down to the lower back area. That is number two, severe headaches with radiating pain. Number three is terrifying nightmares that reoccur every night. It ain't going to happen just one or two nights. It's going to reoccur. Number four is insomnia, or you can't rest at all. You just, you lay down and you toss and you turn. You can't get any rest whatsoever. You can't even relax. And a sleep aid just does not work. Number five is accidents or accidental falls or burns or even bone fractures or just any type of injury, uh, bodily injury. Number six is, now this is a 
funny one that I was like, wow. But um, number six is your milk is going to spoil and go bad even before the due date. So just become aware of that one. Also food, your food could just rot or spoil a lot sooner than it should. Even though you have it covered really good and you got it refrigerated, even freezer burn uh, could happen way before it should. So just become aware of that one. Number seven is blocked income or blocked abundance. Um, or also just no money whatsoever coming in. You know, you're working your ass off and it's just like you can't get ahead. Or um, also, there could possibly be a debt increase. So, yikes. <laughs> Number eight is hallucinations or just seeing something that simply isn't there or just simply isn't real and you you think that it is but it's not it's it's just a hallucination number nine is nosebleeds for no apparent reason you haven't had any injuries uh, you don't have any allergies that you suffer from or anything like that you've been to the doctor over it and they can't tell you exactly what's going on you're just having nosebleeds for no current reason or no apparent reason. Um, number 10 is chronic fatigue or feeling drained, feeling completely exhausted, like you're just zapped, your energy is just absolutely gone. So yeah, those are the top 10 symptoms of hoodoo spells and I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do about it. So first and foremost, you need to pray, get in your prayer life and pay Pray a powerful uh, protection prayer over you and over your children and over your property, over your pets even, over your entire vegetation just everywhere. Just say that beautiful protection prayer. Put a big hedge of protection over you. And also, I'm going to tell you that you can remove a curse or a spell by taking a spiritual bath okay and all you have to do is run your hot tub of bath water and you're going to take three tablespoons of real lemon it can't be uh, from the bottle juice concentrate lemon this has got to be from a real squeezed lemon and it's going to be three tablespoons and then you're going to take uh, virgin olive oil it can't be extra virgin olive oil either it has to be virgin olive oil and that is one teaspoon of virgin olive oil and two tablespoons of sea salt. Now this is a spiritual bath. It's gonna remove this uh, curse. It's gonna remove this spell from you, okay? And you can do this as many times as you'd like, but y'all just sit in there with the mix in that hot tub of water for a good 20 minutes. And then you're just going to get out and take your normal shower and you're going to feel so much better. You can even light a white candle if you um, need to so you can just kind of relax a little bit better. And with your own full intentions, just know that the curse is just going to be lifted off of you, okay? And also, I'm going to give you one more great tip. So you might want to write this down. You're going to take a, a real lemon and you're going to cut it in half, okay? And you're going to take one tablespoon of garlic salt and one tablespoon of sea salt and a half a cup of vinegar, okay? And you're going to not dilute it. You're just going to put all the mixture together in a glass bowl or a ceramic bowl or a cooking pot. It cannot be a plastic bowl. And you're just going to set it in your doorway to your home, in your front entrance way to your home overnight. You're just gonna leave it there all night long, okay? And then in the morning, you can just go and um, take the mixture and take the lemon, the half lemon that you have in the mixture, and just throw it away in a sandwich baggie. Make sure that the sandwich baggie is zipped up real good and tight. I wouldn't even leave it in my house, you guys. I would, I'd go ahead and, and throw that shit away. I would take it off my property, to be honest. And um, then you're just gonna take the rest of the mixture and flush it down the toilet. 
and then you're just with your own energies with your own intention go ahead and finish cleaning out the rest of the bowl real good and then just go ahead and throw it in your dishwasher and let the dishwasher do the rest of the job but yeah these are my great tips I have for you guys today and because this is absolutely people will absolutely do this and the people that do this to you you guys I hate to say but these are gonna be people that you absolutely know I hate to say um, they're not gonna do this to uh, perfect strangers they're gonna do this to people they absolutely know because they're not gonna waste their time and their effort and their energy on some stranger so I want you all to become a where and so does divine he he put this thought on me today and i got all my downloads for it and i love you guys so much and i appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much for all of my viewers thank you for my returning viewers thank you for my new ones i love you guys so much and i couldn't be making this possible without you guys but if you don't care if you haven't already please hit the like please hit the share please hit the bell so you'll know every time that i upload and please please comment down below i love hearing from you but i will see you tomorrow peace